let's take a look at how you can create the home page so if you back to the home page then you can notice you're only going to have this hello world so instead of the simple hello world inside this index file i'm going to create here two component first for the guest and second for the authorized user guest user don't have to log in inside the website guest user can only read the documents so you don't have to log in inside the website but the authorized user need to log in inside the website so you can read and edit their own profile so let's take a look at how we can create these components so i'm going to first create the guest component so let's create here a function guest and then i'm going to specify here a return statement inside this return statement here i'm going to simply going to copy this main and specify that right here and instead of this styling and here i'm going to specify container mx auto to center all the content then specify text center to center text and then specify here padding y 20 so this will add top and bottom padding after that inside this i'm going to have here h3 heading tag and then specify here some classes classes is going to be text for excel and font bold and then here i'm going to say guest home page just out of that right down here i'm going to create a division tag and inside this div let me first specify classes so i'm going to say here class name flex and justify center inside this div i'm going to create a link component and inside that i'm going to add an anchor tag and here i'm going to say sign in and then to this link component i'm going to specify href attribute href is going to be the forward slash login route so the guest user can log in with this sign in link to start that here i'm going to specify some classes so i'm going to add here margin top 5 padding x10 so this will add a left and right padding padding y1 to add top and bottom padding rounded sm will add border radius then i'm going to say here bg indigo 500 after that i'm going to say here text gray save these changes and just out of that right up here instead of this main I'm going to call this guest component here. Save this. Oops, I think I misspelled. Yes, the link component is not defined. Now let me define the link component. I'm going to say here import link from next link. Save this. Here you can see I'm going to have this guest homepage. Now here you can add any content for the guest user. Now just out of that, let's create the authorized user. So here I'm going to create a function. Name this function user. Or you can specify authorized user. That's upon you. And then I'm going to say here return. Just after that, I'm going to copy this main, specify that inside this authorized user instead of guest homepage. Here I'm going to say authorize user homepage. Just after that, instead of this login, now I'm going to say here profile. So the user can click on this button and head on to his profile section. So I'm going to say here profile page. Just after that, inside this right here, I'm going to add a division tag and display the details of the user. So let me specify here class name details. Now here I'm going to add h5 and then specify the authorized username. Right now I don't know the user. So instead of the username I'm going to say here unknown. And I'm also going to print the user email. So let me copy this h5 and specify that here. And then I'm going to specify unknown here. Because right now I don't have the authorized user. Just out of that we also need to allow user to sign out. If the user is successfully signed in, we need to allow user to sign out. So we need to create here a button. So right down here, I'm going to create a div with the class flex and then specify here justify center to center all the content. Then I'm going to create here a button and then specify here text sign out. And inside this button, we specify some classes. So we specify here class names, margin top 5, padding x10, padding y1 rounded sm bg indigo 500 and bg gray 50 let me save the changes and now instead of this guest let me print this user save the changes you can see i'm gonna have this authorized user home page now just out of that what i want i want to identify the guest and the authorized user so for that i'm gonna create here a new state so at the top, I'm going to say constant session and set session. 
is equal to use state and now the default value of use state is false just for that here i'm going to say if we have the session true then call the user component otherwise call the guest component and at the top don't forget to import import use state from the react library let me say this the default value of use state is false this is because we get the guest home page when i change this value to true you can see i'm going to have the authorized user home page now later in this course instead of this use state instead of this use state session variable i'm going to call the next auth session and then specify that to this variable so using next auth we get the access token of the user and identify the authorized or the guest user 